plants. Plants are living things that are usually rooted in the ground or live in water. Plants, unlike animals, cannot move from place to place. Plants come in all colors, shapes and sizes. Plants are central to life on earth. Plants create food for animals to eat. They also provide a place for animals to live. Plants produce the oxygen that is in the air and we breathe. Parts of a plant. A plant is made up of three main parts. The roots, the leaves, and the stem. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and anchor the plant in the ground. The stem supports the plant above the ground and carries the water and minerals to the leaves. The leaves collect energy from the sun and make food for the plant using a process called photosynthesis. Plants also breathe through their leaves, taking in carbon dioxide from the air and giving out oxygen. The flower produces the seeds and contains the pollen. The parts of a flower. Most plants have flowers. Flowering plants are the biggest group of plants. Flowering plants produce seeds, fruits, and flowers. Flowers come in many different shapes, sizes, and color. Most flowers have male parts called stamens and female parts called pistils. The stamens produce dust like grains called 
pollen and the pistil produces the ovules the male parts stamens and female parts pistil are surrounded by the petals of the flower the petals attract insects so that pollen can be transferred to other flowers this process is called pollination the pollen joins or fertilizes the ovules and produces new seeds the parts of the flower are calyx is the first part that develops and is attached to the stem of the plant sepal is the outer part of the flower they are special types of leaves that protect the flower petals surround the reproductive parts of the flower and are brightly colored to attract insects corolla or all the petals of the flower together stamen is the male part of the flower and help the plant reproduce the stamen produces the pollen pistil is the female part of the flower and help the plant reproduce it contains the ovules when the ovules inside the pistil the female part are fertilized by the pollen the pistil the female part grows and grows and becomes a fruit the fruit contains the seeds inside and the seeds can grow into new plants types of plants all plants have got stem we can classify plants into three groups according to their stem trees have got a tall thick stem called trunk 
bushes have got lots of thin and short stems that grow from the ground grasses or herbs have got a tall thin and flexible stem types of trees we can classify trees according to their leaves into deciduous trees and evergreen trees deciduous trees lose their leaves in autumn most deciduous trees have broad or wide flat leaves such as oaks maples beaches elms and birches this evergreen green trees do not lose their leaves they keep their leaves all year around most evergreen trees have hard thin needle like leaves most evergreen trees are coniferous such as pine trees cypresses firm tree leaves help trees make food from the sun through a process called photosynthesis because in winter there isn't enough sunlight for photosynthesis then leaves from deciduous trees fall off and the trees store food to live during the winter plants are important because provide food for many animals and human beings such as vegetables and cereals we also make wood and paper from plants cotton the flower of the cotton plant it is used for making clothes with plant fibers and branches we can make baskets 
We can make perfumes from the nice scent of flowers such as roses, lavender, or jasmine. We use plants to make medicines or drinks such as chamomile or tea. When we cook, we use herbs and plants to flavor our dishes so they taste better using for instance mint, rosemary, vassal or thyme.